All right, so this is not necessarily robot leg specific, but it helps to know some of the basics and extensions and the nomenclature around robot legs and why we talk about the things that we do. So let's talk about events. Events and the event bus and the runtime, what do they mean? Events are communications through events. Communications through events are basically the way you do things in Corona. It's the way you do things in Flash. Um, promises um, are kind of the way you do things in some JavaScript apps. Backbone and others have their own kind of trigger mechanism, right? But at the end of the day, you're sending a message to the framework in a variety of ways. Most of those ways are runtime, which is global. It means anybody in their mom can go runtime to add event listener it works. Runtime is basically a singleton or a global function that anyone can subscribe to in Corona, okay? Event conventions, almost regardless of, this is not robot like specific, okay? Is name of the event, right? That's required. What is the event name? And it has some spelling things. You can't put a colon in there like you can with Backbone, okay? Because Lua does something special with colons. So the name has to be the event name that you're dispatching. And the target is who dispatched the event. The target is optional. But it is important, if you remember, for views to know what view is the target. So I can latch that on, give that as a view instance to the mediator, and then delete it later on, right? So that's the convention for most events, right? You can put data in there as well to give them more context. You're more than welcome to do that. Event bus for now is the runtime, okay? When I first started, I didn't really like the runtime. I didn't like global. You know, I was still getting used to the global nature of Lua. I had spent, uh, I guess, eight years of my career trying to get away from globals, trying to get away from singletons, trying to make encapsulation. We had things like dependency injection that got around having to put the burden on the, the consumer of classes to actually inject instances, right? So after two years, I got over that and I went back to like, you know, runtime's cool. It's fine for the most part, you know, being a pragmatic Lua developer. It's okay. It's not gonna work for everyone. It's also not gonna scale very well either. I don't care what anyone says. So having to do name, name, class name, underscore method is just ridiculous. So in the future, I'm gonna go back to actor. There's a build of older robot legs that already has this, which has its own event messaging bus, which is local, it has no dependencies on group, okay? It's actually manages its listeners internally. It's got some issues with garbage collection I never really worked out. So that's why I threw it out. But the point is, it, it follows the original goal of robot legs was if you extend the actor base class, you can participate in the messaging structure, right? That messaging structure is an injected context, the context who created you, right? Which allows modular application development. So you can have context that cannot talk to other contexts unless you specifically do it. PureMVC already solved this a long time ago, PureMVC pipes, where you could actually create a variety of modular contexts. They call them facades, right? And you could actually have these facades talk to each other via the pipes. So it's not in there yet, but it's definitely going to have to be in there for people who are interested in doing those kind of apps or creating robot legs apps that they want to distribute for um, mainly business to business customers. This isn't really a consumer kind of thing or open source. But Actor is the base class for model, service, command, and mediator, right? Not for context. Context actually injects itself into the Actor. The context will be the event bus. For now, it's not context. So you would say like, uh, dispatch event, right? Which internally goes context.dispatch, right? Actor handles all this stuff for you. The problem is that some Lua developers are like, why would I extend the base class? Like, I don't like extend classes. Like, why don't I just wrap a closure with, you know, the decorator pattern? I'm a dynamic language. So <clears throat> some enterprise developers are like, yeah, I know Lua isn't like that, but we do have, you know, class OOP inheritance libraries that we can do that. To each their own, right? I want to be able to survive both or provide for both. The event bus for now is really, when I say event bus, it's the global messaging system. It's anybody who listens to the event bus can hear the conversation, right? That's really what it means. It's a single messaging system, but it could be more if you're dealing with modern development. Again, I've, I've harped on this a couple of times. The collision avoidance is you have the class name plus an underscore and then the event name. So I have a model called high score model. It'd be high score model underscore on score changed or high score model underscore on high score top list for level changed, right? So you can easily add those events and scope them to a function or scope them to a class member with a colon and actually get retained class scope, okay? That's, you know, Backbone uses the colon, I use the underscore, right? It's just one, one way to get around having a global message bus that's on global.